Hi guys, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. I know it's been a long while since I've done one. I actually have been busy with life. Um, I know I say that a lot, but this time I really mean it. Like I'm super busy. I don't really have time anymore to play The Sims, um, but I do try to stream weekly. So if you guys are interested, I might be streaming more than I do produce videos. So hopefully that's not a bad thing, but Either way, if you're interested in watching my streams, you can refer to the link down in the description box below. And it's also been a while since I've done a voiceover. So this is something like very, I feel like very awkward at the moment because I haven't done a voiceover in probably like a month since the last video. Um, but before we talk about this build, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year, happy 2023. Um, and I hope your guys' new years went well and is going to be well. As well as happy belated Christmas to those who are celebrating and all the good stuff. Anyways, today this is a build that we built on stream. It is a Windenburg family home, but even though it looks big, it only has two rooms unfortunately so it's kind of a small big home if that makes sense but either way i had so much fun building this on stream um and i decided to put up a reference picture on stream which i forgot to hide when i was recording this this footage so like um if you're just wondering like where do i get my inspiration from well you have to use Pinterest for all of that, all of the build inspiration. And so over there in this uh, scene, you can see that there is a picture on the lower left side just because I was using that picture to be used as a reference when I was building it live on stream. But in the end, I don't think it really looks exactly like the house per se. It is just like kind of inspired um, by the the roofing and also the wallpaper that we use in the end so i really hope that you guys will like this video as much as i did creating it um and yeah anyways the structure of the house that we built was pretty much simple i decided to go for an l-shaped um and connect it to like a lower level extension i would say um but i also decided to use some terrain tools and just decorate this house as much as i can um, exterior wise but in the interior it pretty much is a family home so there's like the basic stuff living room kitchen dining room whatnot and also the extension part is going to be like an indoor gardening slash activities room this was actually um, brought up by one of my friends who was watching the stream she's amazing I love her so much her name is Wominion uh, we call her Womi <laughs> um, but she suggested to create like an indoor garden uh, with like a yoga mat and stuff so I was like hey that's a pretty cool idea so I decided to go forth with that idea um, initially I thought like you know since it's an indoor garden it has to be like a transparent uh, room so it should be a transparent uh, glass roof or something but in the end I decided to just keep it that way because I really like how the structure looks like uh, from the outside so I decided to just keep it indoor but with not transparent stuff that is surrounding the room itself or the garden room also this house has uh, two balcony areas at the back part of the house and then over here we are just jumping into uh, decorating the house because I forgot to record me just doing the landscaping <laughs> I'm so sorry about that but I, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video but like I tried to record as much as I could during that stream um, unfortunately for the landscaping it I forgot about it to record it but the landscaping was pretty fun I really like how the landscaping turned out in the end um, but yeah um, the landscaping also I put in a bunch of like bushes and like tall trees and whatnot just because I feel that that's my comfort zone so I decided to just put in like the naupaka leaves or bush from the island living pack and also some debug items from the base game and I also put in like those trails that are from the high school years pack which are um, climbable for the teen sims if you know what I mean um, but yes anyways 
we are gonna be starting off furnishing now and we're gonna be starting with the living room over here i really like how the living room turned out i think it's pretty great it's pretty white as well like i didn't really know what kind of colors i wanted to go at first but i decided to go with like natural slash nude colors and i think that that's a pretty um suitable color for this house because this house looks very very natural from the exterior so i thought that the interior should go along with it so it has like a natural color scheme so i decided to use a lot of like whites browns and like wood wood tones is that what it's called yes i think <laughs> wood tones um and just make it look as natural as possible as well as like decorating it pretty pretty nicely um i'm sorry i think that that sound was my whatsapp anyways <laughs> i forgot to mute uh my computer uh during this voiceover if you heard that just ignore it um but over here i'm just cluttering up the living room because i thought that the living room could use more of like decorative items such as that shelving unit but in the end i didn't really go with that uh shelving unit because i thought that it looked too bulky uh, and I think that shelving unit is from the Blooming Rooms kit. I really like it, but it's, it's a bit too bulky <laughs> for this space. So I decided to just um, like ditch it. And I replaced it with like a painting from the Seasons pack, which is a bunch of like... There's, there's a bunch of swatches in that painting that are like different seasons in them, I think. And I think I will put, I will be putting it now. Or later soon after this but I also decided to just cover up the corners with like plants and these shelving units from DHD pack I really like this uh, shelving unit I think it looks pretty nice and neat so I thought that it fit perfectly in the corner over here and I just decided to clutter it up with a bunch of clutter items from the clutter kit also this uh, video is being produced by the time the new kits are announced I think the um is it lingerie nightwear i don't know what what the name is <laughs> um and the other one is the bathroom clutter kit i think that is a pretty nice idea um but i'm really looking forward for the expansion pack or game pack that they're putting out soon i really hope it's generations because by the look of the uh recent recent reveal of like the illustration i don't know what it's called but like a tree is it a tree i don't know um, but it looks like kind of family oriented plus we're gonna be having like babies baby updates and not and not having babies as objects anymore so I'm really looking forward to that um, and yeah I'm really looking forward but I'm really hoping that it's generations that the new pack is because we just need a bunch of family stuff in this game in terms of gameplay um, we do have parenthood and kid stuff but I don't, I don't think that is like that represents like family you know because <laughs> if we have generations we are also focusing on the um the less less played characters i guess um that i know which are babies and elderly people so i think that if the generations pack is a new pack then it will be a game changer because you get to like interact more with the sims that are not really functional so to speak because you know babies are objects currently before the new update came out comes out or came out <laughs> and also i don't think a lot of people like to play with elderly sims but i'm really hoping that that might change soon anyways over here we're going to be decorating the kitchen i decided to go and put in a bunch of washing machines as well as counter spaces from the parenthood pack which i really like i tend to use these counters a lot with the matching wallpaper in different swatches um and it's just like one of my favorite things about this about building basically i also decided to put this bar thing that is from city living i think which is like a bunch of bottles that are put on a like lighted shelf but i really like the look of it so i decided to just put it in there and the birds are chirping outside my window i'm so sorry about that but i don't know why they're chirping they're better stop <laughs> anyways oh my god shut up birds <laughs> anyways i also decided to put in a bunch of like plants over here and just decorate it very nicely i didn't really want to clutter up the counter spaces so i just decided to like just make it like a basic furnished uh, counter and put in a bunch of 
chili jars as well as a microwave over there with uh, some knives and that spatula rack and also decided to put in this shelf over here because I thought that it looked a bit too empty and I didn't really know what to put in there so I just decided to pick a random shelving unit that is available from Cottage Living I think and just put it on the stuff. Um, anyways, I really like this house and how it turned out so be sure to download this if you guys want. It's available on the gallery under my ID which is Simmerkai. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't produce tray files anymore because I'm too lazy for that. Um, but if you're looking for tray files, please, please, um, let's just say that just don't get your hopes up because I don't really produce tray files. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but if you are desperate in need for the tray files for this, do let me know um, on Instagram because I am really active over there nowadays compared to YouTube and other stuff. So if you want to get the tray files for this, do let me know um, in the Instagram. Just give me a DM or something and I'll, I'd be happy to like give it to you um, when I'm on my PC. Anyways. This house also has a mini dining room which is the one over here that we're decorating and it is pretty simple. I really like the look of it. I would, I decided to make it like look very very cozy. And then over here is going to be the main dining room which is located at the entrance of the house literally. Um, I didn't want to make this a living room simply because there is a sliding door at the back and I wanted to put in a fireplace for this house so I don't think that me putting this area as a living room would be suitable because I, I think I couldn't fit in a fireplace anywhere if I wanted to because of that sliding door. If that sliding door wasn't there, I probably should have made this a living room. But I decided not to because I really like how the sliding door is over there. Um, and in my mind, I was picturing like this house is a traditional house, but the sliding door part makes it look a bit more modern than most traditional houses if you know what i mean so i guess it's like a contemporary traditional house maybe i don't know what the term is but i really like how it turned out in the end and also i love those doors that are from the uh werewolves pack because they look so good um especially in that um swatch other swatches i don't really like them because you can see like a the scratch marks are visible and stuff like that but there is one particular swatch that I really liked and I really I mean I used in this build simply because I like the look of it even though there are visible like scratch marks but it's not as visible as the other swatches of the same door anyways over here is going to be where the indoor garden slash activities area is and I decided to put in a bunch of plants and a couple of yoga mats that were suggested by my friend Wominion um, and yeah I really like the idea that she gave so I decided to just put it in here and you know decorate the house um, and this space especially and make it look very very comfortable and very very fun. I decided to put in a bunch of planter boxes or pots as well as an art easel and a flower arrangement table and with a couple of yoga mats as well um, and you can easily turn this into any room you want to other than the existing room of course but that is up to you I will just leave that to you if you download this on the gallery once again if you want to download this on the gallery my ID is Simmerkai and it's exactly how you spell the spelling is exactly how you see on my youtube handle and other handles also i've been getting some some people said that my id is not found whenever they went on the gallery which i think is weird because i formally changed it from my old id to the existing one which is simmerkai i don't know why it doesn't work for them but if if you do encounter this problem please let me know because i maybe it's like a glitch or something i don't know but like i've never had any problems with other people finding my id on the gallery except for those who mentioned them so it's pretty weird um i don't know what's going on but anyways over here is going to be the 
master bedroom of the house and it belongs to a couple of parents unfortunately i didn't really think of like the personalities of the people that were living in this house but i pictured them to be like a very happy family and they're they're pretty rich too because they have this big house which is not so big but not too small either um, and there is plenty of space for them to move around. I also added in a vanity mirror over there because I really thought that that space was suitable for a vanity mirror and just decorate it like it's a livable room. And then over here is going to be the kids bedroom. Supposedly it was a kids bedroom but I decided to put in like a double bed instead. You can easily fit two sims in here or just one if you want to like and I pictured that it belonged to a young, young sim. So it's pretty like youthful and I decided to put in that shelf from Blooming Room's kit over here finally um, and I thought that it looked much better in this room. Wait, I actually I didn't put it there, what? I thought I did but I thought that it looked nice but it's just a bit bulky for anything. Um, but I'm really hoping that I can use that shelving unit in the future, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but also this room belongs to a gamer so I decided to put in like a gaming computer set over there and just decorate it like how a young person would decorate their room. And they also share one bathroom so there's only two bedrooms and one bathroom in this house unfortunately. Also if you wanted to you can easily change the, um, the indoor garden to a room. I thought of that but I was like there would be too many rooms <laughs> so I just decided to put in a indoor garden like my friend suggested but you can easily change that to another room if you want to but it won't have its own bathroom that's the thing if, but if you want to change the layout of the house please feel free to do so um, I don't really mind anyways um, and then here I believe it is like a, just a simple lounge area which I just turned into a sitting nook there isn't much activities going on in this space per se but i decided to just furnish it and make it look as comfortable as i can and just place also a fireplace from the cats and dogs pack which i really like and just clutter it up a bit also i will i will be putting a organ an organ an electric piano which you will see after this um but otherwise it would just be a, just a simple lounge area um, and yeah, it's pretty much round as you can see. I kept the wallpaper consistent throughout the whole build because I was lazy to like think of different rooms having different wallpapers. But if you guys do that, I respect you all because I can definitely not do that. I would lose my patience and my sanity probably. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be decorating the porches area and balcony area now. And for the upstairs balcony, I decided to put in like a barbecue area and just a, a couple of planter pots. And then over here on the bottom floor, I believe I put in a dining table. So it's like an outdoor dining table from the backyard stuff back, which I really like. I really like this table. It's so underrated. But um, anyways, I also decided to replace that bench that I put there with a telescope. Which I, I'm not so sure if it's functional if your sim uses it under a roof, but if it's not functional, then you guys would have to like move it outside. Anyways, this house also has a small garden. It's like an herb garden or something I pictured for the, um, for the sim that likes to garden in this house. And just make it as cute as possible. I also decided to add in gnomes, which I've never used before. Um, and I really like the look of this garden. I think it's pretty cute, but it's a bit rectangular um, now that I see. Um, but you can easily remove this garden if you want to remove it or if you think that it's a bit ugly for this house. That is up to you, but either way, I think this is going to be the end of the video other than just placing gnomes and stuff like that. I didn't really place anything else like a pool or something, but I decided to like make the blend make the house blend with nature a bit. So I decided to put in some like that log thing from cottage living and also just try to blend in this garden with the background and nature. 
anyways i really hope that you guys enjoyed this build as much as i did doing this and streaming this if you want to catch up on the vod you can click on the link in the description box below where it leads to my twitch page otherwise i really hope that you guys have a good day or night or weekend wherever you are and i hope to talk to you guys in my next video bye Thank you.